Well, children have grown up with the ABCs, 123s, and COVID-19. The pandemic has introduced masks, computers, and school from home, but it's also taught them about helping others. So, the first word in the first column, what is it, Nico? What's that first um, word? It's math. Math. Jennifer math Briggs is a teacher who says she feels supported during the pandemic. It means the world. Um, we have amazing parents here at Highland. But that doesn't mean the pandemic hasn't been a struggle, and she wants others to feel that support as well. Well, I know there have been a lot of challenges um, in the area of education, and so I can't even imagine what it's like in the hospitals. That's why she came up with the idea of a penny challenge for the school. Asking kids to collect all their pennies. We told them, have fun with it. Look in your couch cushions, look under, you know, your car seats or whatever. To buy lunch for COVID staff at Flower Hospital. I offered Charlie Campbell a penny for her thoughts on this. It feels nice because you just get to help them and it makes them feel a lot better. That we get to help them, I think it's really cool that we have that chance to do that. We are doing penny wars. We've been collecting pennies. We're trying to raise money to buy lunch for the doctors and nurses. This challenge comes with a big win for the room, which collects the most pennies. Let me hear you. Who wants to win the belt? Yeah! The principal, Mr. Swaggerty, is putting the Highland belt on the line to provide a little incentive and pride. Our kids are excited about the belt. Um, I'm hopeful they keep, you know, their eye on the bigger aim here, which is, you know, helping out people that are in a tough spot. Everybody knows the hospitals are overwhelmed right now, so. Anything we can do to uh, give them a break or a little bit of a lift um, is helpful. A lesson in kindness and being grateful for hard work. The kids are planning the lunch for this week or next. Chris?